Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And as I was posting my video today for 10159 build of Windows 10, tell you what I think. Well, Microsoft was releasing build 10162, third build to be released this week, which is really amazing speed. And, uh, well, you know, there is, of course, not much difference in those builds except for the fact that there's a lot of bug fixes. Microsoft did state on 10162 that they have uh, reliability fixes, also battery, um, some uh, fixes for um, battery on laptops and uh, tablets so that um, they last longer, so more efficient in the Windows 10 operating system. Also, um, of course, tons and tons of bug fixes once again. And um, what I did this time is uh, basically upgrade from my previous build. Um, I, I always do clean installs and I was thinking, well, I'll upgrade and show you guys that even though we're inside the same Windows 10, um, pretty much that's what's going to happen when you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows uh, and Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Um, in the previous video, if you've watched the review of 1016159, uh, I was uh, I also made a video where I showed you that you can customize the start menu. And so here goes, I upgraded from 10159 to 10162. And if you look at my start menu, it has the same the same tiles that I've removed of modern apps and the programs that I actually pinned, Notepad, Internet Explorer, and Cam Studio, are still there, still in the same order, exactly like they were. Uh, I had icons on my desktop and files in my recycle bin. They all were exactly there also. So this is to give you an idea that when you upgrade from Windows 7 uh, service Pack 1 and from Windows 8.1 you will pretty much keep all of the stuff that you have in the same order as it was on your desktop and so on. So um, that's why I did the upgrade. As for the upgrade itself, it went well. No glitches, no problems at all. Um, after everything was uh, updated I just had my login screen. By the way, the login screen since uh, build 10158 is superb. Very beautiful login screen. Um, and um, so I used a pin instead of using a uh, password, which is much, much simpler. And uh, really, really great job Microsoft did to make it really beautiful to just uh, get in your computer from the login screen. Uh, reliability is really really nice it's still a very solid build um, I did of course uh, do a little faster here I usually test it 24 hours before I talk I decided to actually do it right away for the fact that it was already already released for also the fact that tomorrow I might not be able to actually do a video so um, I wanted to really talk about it right now and you know what uh, as of this video I've been using it for maybe the past three hours and uh, and no glitches at all everything works really well once again still the same pretty much uh, operating system as the other builds and um, what might come to mind is why then do Microsoft release builds so fast um, like I said in 10159 Microsoft has a certain number of cri criteria that they actually use before they release a build to the fast ring. And because we are getting close to the uh, you know Windows 10 official release, basically it means that these builds now are getting very, very high quality. And so they pass the test of the quality required and that's why there were so many builds. Also um, another little thing that Microsoft did say is that this build is considered for the slow ring next week. So if you are on the slow ring that means that uh, probably next week you'll have a new build of Windows uh, 10 which will be 10162. That also means 
that slow ring testers having their build will also have the official image files from Microsoft. Uh, they always issue the image files with the slow ring. So you know what? If you guys are stuck in an old build that you just can't upgrade, uh, next week hopefully we'll have this build also with the image files and you'll be able to install from scratch using these images that Microsoft will release. If you're wondering if you want to do a clean install before, uh, yes, I've seen this built on the Kickass Torrents. And uh, if you look at a user called White Death, that guy has usually the good builds for uh, image files to install on the computer. So if you're looking for one, that's what I would uh, say. But you know what? I don't really want to send anyone into torrents and stuff like that. It is uh, something that's kind of, you know, tricky and if you don't know what you're doing, kind of dangerous to download anything from there. So um, I would personally wait. Uh, if you're not really used to doing that, uh, wait till next week and you'll have the clean install builds from uh, Microsoft itself. So uh, here we are on uh, July 2nd with build 10162, which uh, apparently will be the last build this week and uh, be uh, tested fully through the uh, uh, American uh, July 4th uh, holiday. So uh, hope that uh, it works well and be released in the slow ring next week. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, anything, any question, ask away. Any comments you want to do, please do. It's fun to have feedback from all of you. And thank you for watching.